Oh, ha! I'm from Chengdu, China. I'm only fifteen, but I have seen a lot of eyebrows. There are eyebrows in many large cities in China, like Beijing. I am from Chengdu, in the Sichuan area. So this video will teach you mainly about the Sichuan eyebrows. The Sichuan eyebrows start in Sichuan Province. Seventeen, uh, thirteen six. Before seventeen thirty six, China had many dramas, but the thing started two hundred and twenty one years ago. This is when the first straw opera was founded. During the Chinese New Year, they have a lot of operas. Many people watch operas at that time. So popular operas are, Emperor. Female son-in-law, Hua Mulan, the heaven made and mortal. Chinese people like operas because informed about the Chinese history. They like seeing the history that happened a long time ago. They also like operas that have stories about love, war, and legend. Butterfly Love is a famous love story. Zhu Ying Da is a young woman. She wants to study, but she can't because she is a woman. So she was men's clothing to go to school. She met met a boy called Liang Shanbo. He is studying too. Liang Shanbo thinks Zhu Ying Da is a boy. Zhu Ying Da started talking to Liang Shanbo, and she is falling in love. She talks to him. She is a girl. Zhu Ying Tai's family is is below the family of Liang Shanbo, so they can't marry. Zhu Ying Tai is very sad, so she dies of the sadness. When Liang Shanbo learns this, he kills himself. They become butterflies, and fly away together. Chinese opera is very beautiful and colorful. The different costumes, colors, and makeup show people's character. The red face means the person is loyal. The yellow face means the person is cunning. You can find this artwork on YouTube. I will put a link in the description. Also, you can go to China to watch it too. Each major cities have artworks, but each one has different language, different style. Thank you for listening.